I am Dr. P. Rajakumari, Associate Professor, Department of Mathematics in Institute of Aeronautical Engineering College. Today, I would like to explain about solutions of first order linear equations. First of all, what are the first order linear equations? We are going to know. After that, we will move for the solutions of first order linear equations. We can observe the definition here. The, the linear partial differential equation, the linear partial differential equation of first order, the linear partial differential equation, the linear partial differential equation of first order is called as Lagrange's linear equation. So, linear partial differential equation of first order is called as Lagrange's linear equation. What is the equation form for this Lagrange's linear equation is P into P plus Q into Q equal to R. Here capital P into small p plus capital Q into small q equal to R. Where capital P, Q, R are the functions of x, y, z. So here we are going to know about the general solution for the Lagrange's equation. The general solution of partial differential equation that is p into p plus q into q equal to r is f of u comma v equal to 0. So where f is the arbitrary function. So here what are the u and v is u is, u is x comma y equal to c1 and p of x comma y equal to c2. Here u equal to c1 and v equal to c2 r independent solutions. Here we will get the two solutions u and v. So, these are the independent solutions. So, to solve this question or to solve this Lagrange's linear equation, we will write the auxiliary equation that is the form dx by capital P, dy by capital Q and dz by capital R. This is the auxiliary equation of Lagrange's linear equation. So, here in this we are now we know about the Lagrange's linear equation form that is p into p plus q into q equal to r and um, what is the auxiliary equation? Auxiliary equation is dx by p dy by q dz by r. The solution is f of u comma v equal to 0. Here u and v are two independent solutions. These are the points we understand here by the definition and the equation form. So before going to the solution of the Lagrange's linear equation. First of all, who is Lagrange? Who founded uh, this Lagrange's linear equation? You can observe here. Who was Lagrange? So, Joseph, who is Lagrange, is his complete name. So, he was mainly a French mathematician. So, Joseph Louis Lagrange is a French mathematician. He was an Italian mathematician. And he made a significant contributions to the fields of analysis, number theory, and both the classical and celestial mechanics. So here he is mainly concentrated on fields of analysis, number theory, and mechanics. So he was French mathematic mathematician. So, first of all, what is the Lagrange equation? Just now we observed in the before definition. So, Lagrange's equation is first order partial differential equation whose solutions are functions of which a given functional is stationary. So, here the equation form of the Lagrange's equation is capital P into small p plus capital Q into small q equal to R. Here already we know the notation about the p. Small p is v by 2x, q is 2 by 2y, where p, q, r is a function of x comma y comma z. So here what is the practical field or what is the real applications of Lagrange's equation is you can observe here. Lagrange's equation is specially used in mechanics. The equation is also used for heat and thermodynamics and even for graphing. So, this is used in heat equation and thermodynamics and even for graphing also. So, in terms of classical mechanics, the equation is equivalent to 
Newton's law of motion. But it has the advantage that it takes the same form in any system of generalized coordinates. So here we are having advantage only. So it takes the same form in any system of generalized coordinates and is better suited to generalizations. This is suited to better, better suited to generalizations. So here in the before slides, we observed about what is the equation form and who invented these, these details, where we can use, where it is more suitable. This information we got up to now. Now, I am giving the information about the solution of linear equation. So, just now we taken the form of the Lagrange's linear equation that is P into P plus Q into Q equal to R. So, after that, we are writing the auxiliary equation. Auxiliary. Here, the auxiliary equation is A U. <coughs> dx by p equal to capital P. So, dy by capital Q equal to dz by capital R. This is the auxiliary equation. So, after writing the auxiliary equation, here some more possibilities are there to solve or to give the solution for the given linear partial differential equation. So, here we are dividing into cases in the first case. If it is possible to separate the variables. So, in the first case, if it is possible to separate the variables, then consider any two equations and solve them by integrating. So, what we can do? Here, there is a possibility to separate the variables. Then, we can consider any two equations from here and solve them by integrating. So, after doing the integration, by doing the integration, we can solve them and let the solutions of these equations are so u and v. So, already I told you what is the equation form f of u v equal to 0. So, here u and v are independent solutions. So, here u equal to a and v equal to b. So, that means we can write this one as pi of u and v equal to 0. This is our required solution. We can write this one as a form of f of u comma v equal to 0 also. So, here we can write this one is f of u comma v equal to 0 or pi of u v equal to 0. These are the required solutions of given equation. In the case 1, if there is a possibility to separate the variables, then we consider any two equations. We can take any two equations and solve them by integrating to get the solution of these equations. So, Next, in the, if there is no possibility to separate the variables, what we can do? So, we are taking that one as a case 2. So, if it is not possible to separate the variables, then we can write this one as in the form of p x by p into x comma y comma z equal to d y by q in the form of x comma y comma z and d z by z into x comma y comma z. So, to solve the ABO type of problems, we are having methods, two methods. One is method of grouping. One is method of grouping. What we are having here, first one is method of grouping. Second one is method of multipliers. We are having second one is multipliers. So, in the first case, in the case 1, there is a possibility to separate the variables. Separate the variables, then we can separate and we can integrate them to get the solution. In the case 2, if there is no, there is <coughs> no possibility to separate the variables, we are going to case 2. So, to solve these type of equations, we are having two methods. One is method of grouping, another one is multipliers. So, here first I am going to tell you about the method of grouping. So, in the method of grouping, so in some problems, it is possible to solve any two of the equations. What are the any two of the equations? So, just we are taking dx by p, dy by q and dz by r. So, from this we can select any two. That means if you are taking this one as a first equation, just a minute, I will show you. 
here. So here I am telling that T x by P equal to T y by Q equal to D z by R. So here we can solve any two equations. That means if you are taking this is as a 1, this is as a 2 and this is as a 3. We can solve 1 and 2 also. That means dx by p equal to dy by q. That is also we can take at 2 and 3. 2 and 3 that means dy by q equal to dz by r. Or we can take 1 or 3 also. What is that? dx by p equal to dz by r. So, we can select and we can take any two <laughs> equations in this amount way. So, we can take this two also, otherwise two and three also are one and three. So, like that we can take any two. It is possible to solve any two equations. That is only they are giving here dx by p equal to dy by q or dy by q equal to dz by r or dx by p equal to dz by r. So, in such cases, in such cases, solve the differential equation and get the solution and then substitute in the other differential equation. So, in these cases, you can solve the differential equation to get the solution form that is phi of u equal to 0 to get the u and v. Okay. So, this is the way we can solve by using the method of grouping if there is no possibility to separate the variables. Next second one is method of multipliers. Method of multipliers. Here also we are going to write the auxiliary equation. What is that? dx by p equal to dy by q equal to dz by r. So, in the method of grouping, what we are doing, we are selecting any two equations as 1 and 2 or 2 and 3 or 1 and 3. So, here we are going to take that value that is L, M and N. We are going to take these three values. How we can choose these three means we should get the denominator value that is L into P plus M into Q plus N into R equal to 0. So, by using this condition, we can select the L, M and N values. So, here we need to get the denominator 0. So, then only we can choose that L, M and N values. So, what is the condition? L into P plus M into Q plus N into R equal to 0. So, denominator should be 0. Then we can choose the if after multiplying L, M and N values and we are adding together, if it is coming 0, then we can choose that L, M, N values as a fixed values for the numerator. So, after getting the denominator 0, so here we are writing in the form L into dx plus M into dy plus N into dz equal to 0. So, now, by using this, we are going to integrate this one as integral, integral, integral L dx plus integral M dy plus integral N dz equal to 0. So, here I am going to get the solution in the form like this. So, L into x plus M into y plus N into z equal to some constant. So, in the same way, here, just now I told you we need to choose the L, M, N values. So, that means we need to take two set of values. So, then only you can get the two solutions. Here, according to the general solution, according to the general solution, you need to get U and V. So, based on that, we have um, we need to take two sets of L, M, uh, L, M, N values. So, here you can observe about the method, how to choose and how to get the solution in method of multipliers. So, just a minute, you can observe here. So, in the general solution, you need to get u and v, right? So, here, to first one, I am choosing L1, M1 and N1. So, what is the condition? L1 into P plus M1 into Q 
plus n1 into r should be equal to 0. That means denominator value should be equal to 0. Then we can fix L1 and N1 as multipliers, as multipliers, multipliers. So after getting this denominator is 0, then we are integrating this one as L1 into dx plus integral M1 into dy plus integral n1 into t is equal to some constant. So now I will get t l1 into x here after integration integral dx is x plus m1 into integral dy is y plus n1 into integral d that is z that is c1. This is one solution. This is one solution. So after that to get the solution for the v. So here I am selecting or I am choosing the multipliers Rather the multipliers i am choosing here so l2 l2 m2 and n2 so what is the condition to fix this uh, l m2 and n2 is same condition that is l2 into p plus m2 into q plus n2 into r equal to 0 so after getting this denominator is 0 then we can fix this l2 m2 n2 as a multipliers. So, if you are taking that one as multipliers means after multiplying these three values with the p, q, r and adding if you are getting denominator 0, these are the multipliers we can take. So, now L2 into dx plus M2 into dy plus N2 into dz equal to 0. So that means integral N2 dx plus integral M2 dy plus integral n2 dz equal to some constant. Already I take a constant c1 for the first solution, right? So that's why I'm taking here c2. So now l2 into x plus n2 into y plus n2 into z equal to c2. This is the second solution. So after getting the first solution, that is u, and second solution v, I can write the final general solution that is u f of u comma v equal to 0. This is the method of grouping of multipliers. Here, what are the multipliers we can choose? So, how to choose the multipliers? So this is the important. So, just now I told you oh, how to choose the multipliers means based on the condition only. That is, denominator should be 0. What is the denominator value? L into P, M into Q and N into R equal to 0. So, what are the multipliers we can choose for the problem? What are it may be? Uh, so, that means we can observe here, we can take 1, 1, 1, or 1 minus 1 minus 1, or 1 minus 1, 1, like this, otherwise x, y, z, or 1 by x, 1 by y. So here, you may get confusion if I am writing continuously, just I will separate here, according to that, you can know what are the multipliers we can choose to solve the equations. So, we can take the set of multipliers like this, 1, 1, 1 also, and 1, comma, minus 1, comma, 1 also, and minus 1, minus 1, 1 also, and x, y, z also, next up, 1 by x, 1 by y, or 1 by z, or <coughs> l, m, n, or x, <coughs> 1 by l, 1 by m, and 1 by n. Like that, you can choose the set of multipliers according to the according to the given given equation. According to the given equation. So, what is that equation? Means already I told you. So, according to the given equation, means you should get here L into P, M into Q plus N into R should be equal to 0. Based on that, you can choose set of multipliers for the L, M, N values. You can choose one n by L, 1 by M. Like that, what are sortable values according to the given equation, we can choose as a multipliers. So, here, just now I told you, we are having the two types of methods, method of grouping and method of multipliers. So, please observe here one more one problem about the method of grouping. So find, see the question, find general solution of x into p plus y into q equal to z. What is the given equation? x into p plus y into q 
equal to z. Here we can observe that first in the procedure what we have to write, write the auxiliary equation. Auxiliary equation. So what is the auxiliary equation dx by capital P and dy by capital Q and dz by capital R. So now we are comparing given equation with, with, with Lagrangian equation. What is the Lagrangian equation? Capital P into small p, capital Q into small q equal to R. So what is the equation we are comparing here? So here capital P equal to capital P equal to x and capital Q equal to y and R equal to z. So I am going to replace these values p q x in the auxiliary equation. So what is the auxiliary equation dx? So dx by x equal to dy by y equal to dz by r. What is our value z? So that is only they wrote here dx by x, dy by y, dz by z. This is the auxiliary equation after replacing the p q r values. So now according to the according to the method of grouping according to the method of grouping so what we are doing in the method of grouping what we are doing in the method of grouping so we can take any two equations to solve any two equations to solve so that's why here first we are choosing first we are choosing second one and third one so that is the one set so I am taking here dy by so dy by y equal to dz by z. So here according to the given equation I am selecting 2 3 that is 2 equal to 3 I am selecting 2 equal to 3. So now integrating on both sides integrating on integrating on both sides I am doing here to solve this equation. So now I got integral dy by y equal to integral dz by z. So integral dy by y equal to integral dz by z. So here according to the integration formulas integral 1 by y dy is log y. So log y here log y. So log y equal to log z and some constant will be there after doing the integration here. So here two terms are logarithmic terms are there. That's why I am adding log a. I am adding log a. So now I am sending the log z to LHS part. So log y minus log z equal to log a. Log y minus log z equal to log a. Now according to that I got the solution here. We can observe. So log y log y minus log z equal to log a. So according to the logarithmic formulas, according to the logarithmic formulas, log a minus log b equal to log a by b, right? So according to that, log y by log z I am writing. So log y by log z equal to log a. So cancelling the logarithmic terms. So here y by z equal to a. This is our first solution. This is our first solution. That is, I am writing this one as u, u of x comma y by z equal to y by z equal to a. This is our first solution. So when I am selecting 2 equal to 3, I am selecting here 2 equal to 3, I got the first solution. So I can take one more equation to get the second solution. So what is that I am going to take here? We can observe. So observe the equation here. So first I selected 2 equal to 3i. Now I am taking, now I am taking 1 equal to 3. So what is the 1? So dx by x equal to dz by z. What is the next one I am taking here? dx by x equal to dz by z. So here I am doing integration, integrate on both sides. Now integral dx by x equal to integral dz by z. So 
log x equal to log x equal to log z. As I said to you before, we are adding some logarithm constant. Before I added log a. So now I am adding log b. So I am sending this one log z to the left side. So log x minus log z equal to log b. So finally according to the logarithmic formulas I am writing log of x by z equal to log b. So finally I am writing the solution as x by z equal to b. This is the second solution that is b. I am writing b equal to x by z equal to b. You can observe here. So in the first solution I got first one is u equal to y by z equal to a and v is x by z equal to b. So finally I am writing finally general solution equal to pi of u comma v equal to 0. So what is the u here pi of y by z comma x by z equal to 0. So this is the way to solve the given like uh, this equation by using method of method of grouping so method of grouping so this is the way to solve the problem by using the method of grouping so in this video i explained i am i'm going to conclude now so in this video what we learned so here today what what is the lagrange's lagrange's equation lagrange's equation and what is the general form general form of the lagrange's linear equation and what is the auxiliary equation for the lagrange's and who invented this about the about the lagrange magnetization and about the Lagrange mathematician and solution of solution of linear partial differential equation. So linear partial differential equation. So in this solution we know about the two methods that is method of grouping and method of method of multipliers. So, so one example also explain about the method of grouping. These are the points we learned today in this video. So we are going to see some more problems based on the method of grouping. After that we will move to method of multipliers. So I think you got the better information about the Lagrange's linear equation and solution of linear partial differential equation. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.